Hello everybody, this is Programs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Arcanum running on modern versions of Windows. There are some quirks with Arcanum that can prevent it from running on modern versions of Windows without some tweaks. In this video, I'll be talking about what those tweaks are and how you can configure Arcanum to run very smoothly on your system, more smoothly than ever before, in fact. So a couple of things, you're going to want to make sure you have Arcanum installed, obviously. You can use any version of the game, the CD version, the Steam version, or the GOG.com version. Right now I'm using the CD version. So you're also going to want to get this Arcanum Essentials Pack, which is linked in the description of this video. So I've got that on my desktop. We've got a few items here. The first thing you'll want to install, and this is only if you have the CD version of the game, is the 1074 patch. I'm going to go ahead and install the 1074 patch because I have the CD version. This is already included on the Steam version and the GOG version. So if you have those versions of the game, you do not have to install it. You only have to install this if you have the CD version. Next... I'm going to install the unofficial Arcanum patch 2.0.2 by Drog Blacktooth. Right click, run as administrator, wait for it to open up, and it will guide you through the installation. Hit next. Uh, my uh, directory is actually c slash Sierra slash Arcanum. Next. We have the high resolution patch itself, official DLC, a race mod, which adds uh, three new playable races to the game, orcs, ogres, and dark elves. I'm going to get that. Beta content. We have several things that affect uh, various models, various uh, aspects. I'm going to take all of those. And then miscellaneous mods, which these actually make the gameplay a little bit more convenient so i'm going to take all of those hit install wait for it to install this is actually going to install both the unofficial arcanum patch and the high resolution patch the high resolution patch can actually be configured through a file in the directory after it installs which i'm going to show you Now the unofficial patch has installed. I'm going to uncheck show readme because I've read it before. Hit finish. And then what you're going to want to do is navigate to your Arcanum directory. I've already got mine open. Since I have the CD version, it's actually just C slash Sierra slash Arcanum. And I will put all the default paths in the description of this video. So all you'll have to do is copy uh, the path that corresponds to your particular version of the game, open up a file explorer window and paste it into the address bar right here. So what I'm going to do now, since I have installed the unofficial patch, I'm going to open this directory in my Arcanum folder called high res. And then I'm going to open this config.ini file, which will open a notepad with various configuration options for the high resolution patch of the game. What you're going to want to do, width and height, you're going to want to make sure it matches your monitor's exact resolution. I am running 1920 by 1080. Of course, you can right click your desktop and hit display settings at any time. And it will tell you what display resolution you're running. It's very important that you exactly match the resolution that you're running. Bit depth, we can leave default. Dialog font, I like to make it bigger. It really doesn't matter. This is a matter of preference. Same with the logbook font. I like to leave it at the biggest setting, but your mileage may vary. Menu position, go ahead and leave that in the center. Main menu art, I actually like to change mine to black. But again, this is a matter of preference, what you think looks the best black, fade to black, or wood. Borders, you can leave default. If you want to run in windowed mode, you can change this to a 1. 
I've never had much luck with windowed mode in Arcanum, but your mileage may vary. Renderer, I am actually going to leave it on the software renderer. It seems more compatible. Double buffer, I'm going to leave at a 1. Again, this seems more compatible. D-Draw Wrapper, I'm actually going to change to a 0, and I'm going to explain why in a moment. We're not going to install the D-Draw Wrapper that's, in yeah, that's included with the unofficial Arcanum patch. We have our own that we're going to use. I like to show FPS, but it's a matter of preference. Scroll FPS, I usually like to change this to 120 because it makes the screen scroll a little bit faster and makes the gameplay experience feel more smooth. Scrolling distance, you can leave this at 30. Preload limit, same thing, leave it at 60. Broadcast limit, leave it at 20. I like to change logos and intro to zeros so that it skips the introduction videos. Go ahead and hit Control S to save it. Close out of the notepad and run this install.bat file. What it just did is it installed the high resolution patch in one click. Go back to your Arcanum folder, and then you're going to want to get the Arcanum Essentials pack open again. We have two options in the Arcanum Essentials pack for a DDraw compatibility wrapper. The one that I have found is actually most effective are the wine DLLs. The wine DLLs I can install. If it asks you if you want to overwrite, go ahead and click yes. You can also, if the wine DLLs aren't working for your game, I also include the DX wrapper by Alicia Cloud, which has its own configuration file. If you wanted to install this one, you would grab the dxwrapper.ini file, and then the dxwrapper.dll, and copy those to your Arcanum folder. And then you would open up this subfolder, and you would grab the ddraw.dll file, and copy that to your folder. But I have found that the wine DLLs work just fine. So that is actually all you have to do to get the game running. I'm going to go ahead and run arcanum.exe. As you can see, it loads up. It's, everything is centered on the screen. We're getting a good amount of FPS. I'm going to open up and use Merwin Tumblebrook just to show you that the game does indeed work. I can't believe it! and does indeed run very, very well. I'm going to change always run. As you can see, there's no lag. No lag whatsoever, no crashes, no hangups. This is a very, very, very good Arcanum experience. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to my channel. And leave a comment detailing how this worked for you and certainly if you have any problems go ahead and leave a comment or join our discord which is also linked in the description take care everybody